hi guys welcome back to my channel in this video i i will be showing you guys how to print a triangular pattern on sql but before we start please remember that the the sql syntax may differ depending on the database management system that you are using so you could be using either my sql or even microsoft sql server for which um i will be using microsoft sql server for this tutorial so the question says p of r represents a pattern drawn by julia in our rows the following pattern represents p of 5 which is the pattern that you see on the screen write a query to print the pattern p of 20. so the first thing that you want to do when you approach a problem like this is to check how your pattern is designed or the layout of your pattern and that's gonna guide you on how to write your query so in this video we can see that our pattern starts with only one star at the very first row and then they increase by one as we move down the row until we get to five sometimes it could be the other way around where like year five starts at the beginning and they decrease by one as you move further down but in this tutorial we need to create a similar pattern as the one that's shown on the screen but with a maximum of 20 stars so how do we go about doing this the first thing that you want to do is to declare a variable using a declare command and then you name your variable you can name your variable whatever you want but just make sure that for whatever name that you choose you um you start it with an add sign this is just as microsoft sql server syntax so for this tutorial i'm gonna name my, my variable Annie, and then i put my add sign at the beginning of my variable automatically when you declare a variable it is set to null but we need to set our variable to one because we want the first row of our pattern to have only one star so if you wanted your pattern to have two stars at the first row you put two but we're just gonna keep it to one in this tutorial next we need to define the data type of our variable which has to be an integer for this case because our stars are being counted in numbers uh, now we need um, a while loop that tells our query to repeat the command for as long as the condition is met so we're gonna use the while command and then our declared variable and then make this to be sort of like less or equal to 20 because we need a maximum of 20 stars so microsoft sql server actually requires us to use a begin and end transaction command when writing queries like this and inside this command we put our actual query that has to print our pattern that we want um, so we put a print and replicate command then the brackets and then inside the brackets we put what has to be printed so in this case we put a star and then we make a space because um, our stars are separated by one space in our pattern if you don't put a space then then your stars are gonna be like um, congested next to each other so we don't want that but obviously the question is to tell you whether you have to do that or not and then next on we put a comma inside the bracket and then a declared variable so we need it to repeat um, our star only once uh, with what we've just put in the brackets but we know that that's not what we want to do with um, with this particular question we want um, for each row uh, as we move further down the row we want the the pattern to increase by one so we need to set um, uh, this command so we use a, a set command to do this so we say set it um, well, basically a variable so we set a variable which was one equal to uh, my variable it knows that my variable is one plus one so it increments every time it repeats the the, the query and uh, so let's wait and see if it's processing oh yeah they so you can see congratulations i managed to 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 to, to solve the query and this is basically just how you go about um printing a triangular pattern using microsoft sql server obviously if your pattern was the other way around you just have to like manipulate your your variables there so if you wanted your 
pair tend to start with only 20 stars then you would set your your variable to be equal to 20 and so on and so forth you just like do the same thing but the other way around